Today we're going to tie a caddis. This is a really high floating caddis. Like if you only have a chance to wool cast or something, you need to float real well. This thing floats like a cork, can't sink it. And it was really successful on our, la our latest trip to Pine Creek. Watch for that video coming up. And uh, here's your list of materials. And uh, let's go to the vise and tie this amazing, very well tied tan October caddis. As you can see, I didn't put a hook size on the material list. Whoops. But anyway, this is a standard dry fly hook, size 16 to 12. Now we're using this light tan poly yarn. Um, it's really, the color of the body is amazing to match the fly. I want to use it because this will really help the fly, because this stuff floats. So I'm going to split this in half, not or maybe even quarters, depends on the size of the fly you're tying, and only use a little bit, don't use the whole thing. I create two. Now we're going to tie this poly yarn in, run the thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. Now we're going to take a light ginger saddle hackle. And we're going to gauge it to make sure the hackle is the right length. And then we're going to tie that in. Now I'm going to move our thread up to about uh, hook eye distance away from the hook eye. So just enough room so we don't crowd the head. Take, take the tan poly yarn and start making your body. And work that right up to where your thread is, tie it off, and then cut it off. Now you want to wrap your hackle forward and you want to act like you're using the hackle to rib it because you kind of are making the ribbing on the hackle or on the body of the fly. Now you can tie off the hackle. I like to go over the hackle feather once or twice, wrap a couple wraps over it back go over it again wrap a couple thread wraps in front of it and that's just how I tie them down now what I got here is that something I got at the Lancaster fly show and if you were there two years ago I got these wings they're just a poly floating yarn wing but they're really distinct color of wing material I mean they watch max match sorry so many of the different wing wings that come out in the during the year so we're going to tie these but you could just get any kind of light gray poly yarn and do the same thing now you can see that there's like a little burn where they split the wing and burn them together we're going to tie right behind that now if you're using yarn you tie that thread off right behind the hook and then cut the the end off. Okay, now we got this tied. I want you to tie these up. Like I said, our next fishing video on Pine Creek, we used these and they were dead. They caught a lot of fish, had a good time. Tie these up, keep your lines wet, out of the trees, 
and only give them fish, a sorlet, and be creative. And come up with your own designs. Have a good day.